Hi there, in this video I want to cover using ArcGIS to create a profile data set and then to make a formatted blank cross section which I might have to divide into two videos. So the first thing you want to want to check is that you have the 3D Analyst extension enabled. So just go to Customize Extensions. You can see that I've got that checked there. And then you want to bring up the 3D Analyst toolbar, which is Customize Toolbars 3D Analyst. You can see I've got that here. Uh, you also want to check that you've got um, so so you, this works with the digital elevation model and the one I'm using here is the uh, survey school 15 meter DEM and I'm using it in the Wellington area so we want to make sure that we've got that elevation model selected in 3D analyst to work on if you're not already in data view you should switch to data view now and then we're just going to use this tool here interpolate line and what we want to do is at the start of our section click to start the line and then at the end of the section double click to finish the line and at this point here you can also come in and adjust the line using the select elements the cursor tool so I'm happy with that uh, the next thing you want to do is go to 3D analyst options and go to the graph data tab and we've got to choose the location to save the profile graph, graph data I'm just working from my home folder so and I've got a folder called graph the home folder is the folder with the map in it um, I've got some instructions on that on my blog and we're just going to choose OK the next thing we want to do you see once this has been drawn there's an option here for a profile graph we just click on that and it creates this graph now you can actually, actually do a bit of graphing function in ArcGIS but it's pretty much the same as the Excel one it's not particularly good So I first want to just close this graph. Now what actually happened when I clicked on that graph function is that it created a, a shape file with two values. If I just go to refresh the graph there, you see I've got this PG1 shape that it got created. So I'm just going to drag that into the map. Don't worry about that. Um, at this point we can also delete that cross section line we drew um, so if I use this identify tool I can see that at the start of the line we've got an M value of 0 and a Z value of 429 and at the end of the line we've got an M value of 2941 and 478 so the M value is distance along the line and the Z value is elevation. And you can also check that in the attribute field of this PG1 dot shape. So in order to do anything with these M and Z values we kind of need to export them. So just going back to the map document we open the attribute table of this profile created um, one thing we want to get rid of before we copy the starter is these two fields because they will cause issues in the next step so we'll just go turn field off here right click on the top turn field off then just want to select them all by control A or you can 
choose select all from here then right click on one of these row, uh, row headers and go copy selected and we'll just um, what I want to do is paste that into a empty t a text document I've got one here Uh, I can just go paste. Uh, there's one other thing we've got to do with ArcGIS is pretty um, finicky about the data format. So here, this zero might cause it to be to register that column as an integer. So I'll just put zero point zero zero, and that should fix this. And then we'll just go save. And we can close that close that attribute table and then just go to this cross section template we don't need to save any changes there all right so this is the template I've made with the all the kind of sort of well set up for a cross section um, should point out that you can do things like in 3d analysts you can set it to a certain interval if you've got too dense the spacing of the points. Um, and you can identify that I've already shown identifying the points, so that's useful as well. So what I want to do here is cl click on this file with the M and Z values, and I'm going to go create fetch class, and that says from X Y table. Uh, the X field is going to be M, the Z fields going to be Y don't need to set a coordinate system and we're just going to put it here and I'll call it that, that's fine. So we've created this now and I'll just drag and drop that onto there. I'll just go OK to that warning. Uh, so now we've got these dots going on here and we want to convert them to a line. So we do that by going to this search box and we can search for points to line that will bring us this. To get to the search box, box you can just go Windows, Search. So bring up this points to line, choose that as our input features, and then we're going to, I'm just going to call that section line here. You probably name it with the which section you're doing. And that's just finished there. And we can hide this now so you've got this nice section line. Now one thing I should point out here is that you do need to have a coordinate system selected. Uh, but if you choose any projected coordinate system you'll just be working down near the origin so it should work out fine. And the reason you need that is just to access this map scale stuff. So just something I wasn't aware about that I kind of discovered as I went. So what we want to do next is um, resize this data frame. That's a bit too far. And it's uh, quite annoying the way that ArcGIS does this. What you kind of want to do is sort of center it and then do a resize. And that's just about right there. I think you can see the zero there. drag it down as well and ping that up yes. so I can draw my geology down here. Now I'll also change this line to make this just a black line. Um, so this template has the you can go in here it has a grid so you can go in here and um, go to data frame properties and then go to the grids tab and you can change the y interval maybe we'll make that 200 for this section um, or 250 even and you can change various other things in here and then when we're done we just simply export that so we go file export map and we're just going to yeah, we'll just call it that. And now I just want to show you that being open.
can see uh, quite a nice blank cross section. Uh, there's a little bit here we could have possibly made that a little bit tighter, but we can just extend it a little bit. It's not really a huge deal. Needed to. And the real benefit of doing it this way is we know we've got that white scale and the profile is going to be precise. So thanks very much.